of the Omer, and this is Chesed Sheba Gavora. So we spoke last week about Gavora Sheba Chesed. We were in the week of Chesed. We're in the week of kind of giving and loving and kindness. And we talked about how Gavora could play a part in that on the second day of that week. Now we're in the next week. We're in the week of Gavora itself, when boundaries and self-control become a real essential part of our focus. And we're back in the mixture of Gavor and Chesed because today is the first day of the week of Gavor, so it is the Chesed Sheba Gavor. So what exactly is Chesed Sheba Gavor? I mean, these are opposing forces as we talked about last week. But there's a certain Chesed that we can give to somebody when we are giving that, that Gavor. So Chesed is kind of the moving towards and Gavor is much more setting up those boundaries. And when I think about Chesed Sheba Gavor, one thing that is coming to me is spending Shabbat a while back with the family. And this is a family that was very much into their chesed. And, you know, you ask them about their children. They say, you know, my number one desire with my children is they should really know that I love them. They should really feel the love that I give. And they absolutely succeed in that. They are such an incredibly loving family. And one of their kids, we noticed, was always trying to get their attention by intentionally antagonizing his siblings. And so would literally like go sit down next to the siblings and like poke them or hit them or take things from them or start a fight. They were so clearly one-sided. Like a kid could just be sitting reading a book and this other kid would come and like grab the book and start a fight based on nothing. And this kid who was starting the fights would be looking back to the parents waiting, okay, are you going to tell me to stop? Are you going to intervene? Are you going to do anything about it? And the parents were so lovingly and appreciatively trying to talk them through them, make sure that the kid knows how much they're loved and appreciated. And I was sitting there watching and like, the love of these parents is so getting through. But this child is really asking also for boundaries, that there's something healthy about having certain boundaries. And this kid who, from my perspective, sitting there watching was saying, you know what, I want you to know that you are gonna put some boundaries on me, that you are gonna tell me when I'm going too far. Because you know what, there's a certain amount of unsafety in this world, and I'm counting on you, my parents, to indicate to me what I can do and what I can't. And whenever I mis misbehave and you just tell me how much you love me, I feel the love, but it's not answering the need I feel right now, which is to have some boundaries. In fact, there's an amazing study that was done where they took a preschool and they had a yard in the preschool and with a fence around it. And the kids could play up to the fence. And so they had this big yard around that. And at a certain point, they took the fence down. And the kids suddenly had this whole field available to them. But they didn't go as far. As long as they had a fence at the end of the schoolyard, they knew, OK, I can go up to this point and play safely. Once the fence was gone, they stayed much closer to the school. Suddenly, there was just a huge, wide expanse in front of them. And they didn't have a good sense of how far can I safely go? How far can I not safely go? Putting up that fence says, okay, this is a healthy boundary. You can go to this point. And boundaries can make us feel really safe. And so that's the energy I want to give you today of the, that really of this is what Chesed Shiba Gavor is all about. There's a tremendous Chesed we, we do when we establish Gavor, when we establish clear boundaries. When we clear, give clear indications about what is okay and what is not okay. And so that is really today's energy. And I want to bless you. You should really go out there and be able to put out this amazing, amazing energy, this amazing boundaries, and this amazing self-control that we should have there. Because Gavora, when done in a healthy way, can be an absolutely amazing gift. Take care.